let's talk about things in the context of 30, 60, 90. You guys have heard me talk about this kind of ad nauseum. It's like, oh, here we go. Simmons talking about 30, 60, 90 again. What does this mean? This is ultimately project management for dummies. Why? Because I'm a dummy and I'm not PMP certified. I know what the PMP is. I know who the PMI is. I know what PMBOK is, Project Management Book of Knowledge or Body of Knowledge, uh, Project Management Institute, Project Management Professional. Anyhow, that's not what this is. 30, 60, 90. What are we going to accomplish in the next 30 days? What are we going to accomplish in the next 60 days? What are we going to accomplish in the next 90 days? Notice I say next 30, next 60, next 90. The reason why next 30, next 60, next 90 are important to me is because I'm not going to just wait for the next period before I deliver that. I'm going to try to deliver those things as soon as possible, but these are the things I want to accomplish in the next 30 days, next 60 days, next 90 days. You've heard me talk about this before in the design backward execute going forward. So if I know that I need to get a contract done and in order to implement something, I'm going to have to get a contract done. So if my implementation date is on, um, let's do simple math here. We're going to say December, December 1st, my implementation date. In order to implement on December 1st, I'm probably gonna to have to do some kind of proof of concept or some kind of uh, soft launch. Let's just call it a soft launch. I'm gonna do a soft launch inside the organization to make sure things work technically. So I'm gonna back off maybe 30 days to do that soft launch, okay? So in order to do that soft launch in 30 days, I actually gotta have a contract in place. That means I need to have the contract in place by November 1st. Well, in order to get the contract in place by November 1st, I've got to have due diligence done or I've got to have whatever contracting process done. That might take, let's say that that takes 14 days. Let's say it's really, really fast. We're talking about a single page of paper, really easy to move things in and out. Let's say I can do that in 14 days. So now by November 15th, I've got to have contract in hand of the person on the other end. Now, what I didn't factor in is, What's in between November 15th and December 1st? Well, here in the States, Thanksgiving, right? So we've got Thanksgiving, which is gonna be a holiday period that I've gotta work on. So I'm gonna back this up another seven days. So now we're November 7th, I wanna have contract paperwork in hand. That's just if we're gonna hit everything on time. Now, beyond that, I've gotta to agree to the terms that are gonna be in the contract. Well, that might take a couple of weeks, depending on who all is going to be involved. Do we have to get people from purchasing? Do we have to get people from other groups? Do we have to get the technical people involved? Like who else needs to be part of it? So what we want to have in here is an implementation plan that gets us all the way to De December 1st and kind of walks out. What does that entire period look like? So then we know that we at least, if we're not at a point where we're talking about something on, let's say, October uh, 1st, the likelihood of getting that deal done is actually really, really low. So if you want to get a deal done and you want to get something implemented by the 1st of December, probably need to be talking with those folks, those folks and getting organized around things by the 1st of October. If we don't have that in place, then the likelihood of us getting that deal done are pretty low. Now, if we've got longer protracted uh, sales cycles, then now we've got to extend those in here. So the 30, 60, 90 becomes um, even more challenging. So my first 30 days, my next 60 days, my next 90 days, 90 days out might be we go ahead and we launch to the audience. So uh, launch. By the end of 60 days, within that first 60 days, we have our soft launch plan. We know who the stakeholders are, how things are going to be communicated, okay? Maybe we've got our success criteria established 30 days before that. We've got our audience scoped out and we've got general buy-in or decision on putting these things in. Now, we can plug in a lot of these things. And to be honest with you, I hate when people say that. So here I go saying that. And I've said that I think on three different occasions today, including on another video I recorded. But um, what I want to do is I want to look at this in the context of this could be three hours, six hours, nine hours. So in the next three hours, next six hours, nine hours, I want to get things done. Next three days, six days, nine days. Next three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, 30, 60, 90, three months, six months, nine months, 
three years, six years, nine years. I just break it up into smaller pieces of three so that I can always start attacking those. And then if at any point in time I'm in this area and I'm not hitting on those marks, I know where my risk is and I see what I might have to adjust before I get too close where I'm out here trying to forecast something that's supposed to happen in 10 days and the reality is we haven't even been in front of procurement. So that's why 30, 60, 90 day plans are so important to me. These do not need to be really complex. Just a couple of bullet points. These milestones or mile markers that we wanna get through. Think of them as guideposts in your journey from you know, along the Jubilee line or making that drive from Austin, Texas to uh, Orange County, California. Thanks.